For many people, time is an enemy. We race against the clock to finish assignments and meet deadlines. The Pomodoro technique teaches you to work with time instead of struggling against it. A revolutionary time management system, it is very simple to learn and life changing to use. The fundamentals of the Pomodoro technique are simple yet incredibly effective. The process underlying the Pomodoro technique consists of 5 steps. Step 1. Choose a task you would like to get done. Something big, something small, something you have been putting off for a million years, it doesn't matter. What matters is that it's something that deserves your full undivided attention. Step 2. Make a small commitment to yourself. I will spend 25 minutes on this task and I will not interrupt myself. You can do it. After all, it's just 25 minutes. Work until the Pomodoro rings. Work on the task until the Pomodoro rings. Then put a check on your sheet of paper. Then take a short break. 5 minutes is okay. Breathe, meditate, grab a cup of coffee, go for a short walk or do something else relaxing. That is not work related. Your brain will thank you later. Every 4 Pomodoros take a longer break. Once you have completed your Pomodoros, you can take a longer break. 20 minutes is good or 30. Your brain will use the time to assimilate new information and rest before the next round of Pomodoros. Repeat that process a few times over the course of a workday and you actually get a lot accomplished and took plenty of breaks to grab a cup of coffee or refill your water bottle in the process. Cirilo suggests 25 minutes of a focused work on a single task are followed by a 5 minute break. But you can also alter 25 5 allocation to something like 50 minutes of focused work on a single task are followed by 10 minute break. It's important to note that a Pomodoro is an individual unit of work. That means if you are distracted part way by a co-worker meeting or emergency, you are either have to end the Pomodoro there or you have to postpone the distraction until the Pomodoro is complete. Cirilo suggests the inform, negotiate and callback strategy. Inform the other distracting party that you are working on something right now. Negotiate a time when you can get back to them about the distracting issue in a timely manner. Call back the other party when your Pomodoro is complete and you are ready to tackle their issue. How to get started with the Pomodoro technique? While there are hundreds of digital Pomodoro timer like tied on the Play Store and the App Store to get started, Cirilo says using a physical timer still works best. If you use the Pomodoro technique, you will get 10 times as much done as most of your friends. The rewards are going home early, having time for your own project or spending more time with your family. If you want to learn more about Pomodoro Technique, then buy the full book The Pomodoro Technique Do More and Have Fun with Time Management by Francisco Cirillo from the link below. If you find this helpful, then subscribe to BookBug and start your journey towards a successful life.